Next time you walk naked in your bedroom, in a bathroom, and you see yourself in a mirror, and you say something like, oh my gosh, my stomach looks enormous. Girl, you have to stop doing that. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, 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 this video is being highly, highly requested due to my old video that I posted two years ago when I was a baby YouTuber. And if you want some numbers, this video got 1.4 million views, 2,500 comments because I probably removed 300 of them as well. Super, super nasty from haters or people hate French or people are oversized. The thumbnail was completely shocking because I said French women don't get fat. Yeah, I pushed it a bit. And because the word fat is taboo. So, bonjour, je m'appelle Frédéric. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the French culture, about the food, how do we approach very, very rich food and cuisine, and most important, I'm gonna give you some tips how to lose weight and what are the secrets of French women, how do they stay slim. Do not think that we are anorexic, that we do not eat, that we smoke cigarettes all day because we want to stay slim. So, please, Please don't say something like that in the comments because mm -mm, nah, it's not worth in your time. If you haven't done it yet, well, click, 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 click. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. Big thumbs up. Do not forget the notification bell. This way you won't miss the next video. First of all, French women do get fat. Yes, we are not aliens. We have all problems with the body and the food. So we are human beings, but we have a different thing in France. So something you don't know if you're not French, you don't know that. It's it only hit me when I moved to Australia 21 years ago because the word fat in English, in the state, maybe in UK, is such a taboo word when it's not in French. You don't say to someone, wow, you look fat today, or you don't say, did you gain some weight today? Or French people will say that, oh, you ate a lot of cheese lately? <laughs> so let me explain. Maybe I know it's a little bit more taboo, I don't know. In France, friends or family will tell you if you put some weight in your face in front of people. I know that since I'm a really, really young girl and to me it's normal. But when you move to another country or when you talk to someone with a different nationality, it's a big no-no. Please let me know in your country. I'm going to ask so many questions because I want to know more about you as well. What do you say? Because I'm, I'm sure in some countries it's going to be okay. Probably countries like Spain, Italy or even Brazil, they're more direct people. But people in the UK, they will never say to Hey, did you put some weight? Mm, you need to lose. <laughs> okay, I need to jump in, in the videos. But for example, if you're French and you are in Australia and you go to a friend shopping and she tells you, do my derriere look fat in those jeans? And they're like big, flushy yellow jeans. And you're French and you said, yeah, your derriere look fat in those pair of jeans. Yellow is not your color. <laughs> you know what? This is a clash of culture. <laughs> and <laughs> you're going to lose a friend probably not a good friend anyway. I learned in a hard way, you do not tell a woman or a man that they fat in their face. So we'll be like more like a conversational video, but I want to approach food and women with a little bit more weight with a very funny and respectful approach. A friend of mine, which is British, she said to me only a few weeks ago, she said, girl, eat like a queen in the morning, eat like a princess at lunch and eat like a poor girl in the evening. I never heard this expression in my life. If you're from the UK or if you know this expression, please let me know because I'm like, oh, okay, we don't say that in France. We don't work like that. But I find that very, very funny. If you have a funny expression about food in your country and it's very typical or something funny, obviously, please let me know in the comment section. I want to know. Let's be real here. French cuisine is super rich. Sauce, lots of meat, bread every day, butter, garlic is not fattening, but garlic, you, you stink, your mouth stinks you have a bad breath all day long. We have all the cheese in the world. We have the pâtisserie and the different alcohol. Plus, we eat disgusting things, guys, that you never ate in your life that I ate. And even as a young age, I was like, no, don't give me that. So what do we eat that for you? It sounds like, oh my gosh, I can't read it. So we eat lapin à la moutarde, the mustard rabbit. Tastes delicious when it's well done, by the way. We ate the horse liver. I remind you I'm a vegetarian, by the way, but I have to eat that. We eat snacks. Else. We eat frog legs, we eat beef tongue, we eat shrimps. It's like we eat the internal organs.
organs of every animals <laughs> and even some dishes the brain is just disgusting we have a lot of meat in france plus we have the foie gras if you never heard about this the foie gras it's not a pate but it's horrible they use the goose or the duck and they force the animal to eat a lot of food by gagging them and then when they're really fat they remove the liver and they make a kind of a pate but it's not a pate it's actually it's delicious it's expensive and it's like a delicatessen <laughs> it's not because i'm french i said i'm right okay this is my culture we have to deal with it i know it's the same for your culture for your country but in france it's quite particular we love our culture we love a food we love talking about food we love spending three four five hours around the table and it's exhausting by the way i want to say something never ever ever say no to a french person who's offering you food this is very insulting if you are lucky to be invited by french people for a big dinner or maybe a big sunday lunch eat only green lettuce for the two days prior of this lunch or slash dinner because you're gonna eat like a pig and if you don't want to So, French people are gonna force you. So, what's going on during a French meal? This is not every day, by the way. I'm talking about like we celebrate something or especially on Sundays. So, the proper French structure, I'm gonna say on the, around the table. Before eating, we meet and we have an aperitif. Aperitif is when you gather not on the table, but in the living room. You have an alcohol, sometimes a glass of champagne, or you have very, very French, a kir royal. It's simply a glass of champagne with a little bit of Burberry, or cranberry cream it's still alcohol and it's got this beautiful color women love that we can as well starting just before a meal when you go to the restaurant usually the guy will ask a whiskey it's not a roll and a woman will have a key royal so you have the aperitif but the aperitif do you think is just like a couple of peanuts not in france are you kidding it will be cheese it will be this it will be that do not touch the food during the aperitif because you need to have some space in your stomach for the rest then you finally go after two hours drinking already you go for dinner lunch and then it's starting with the entry entree i'm going to speak in french entree will be eggs benedict it will be anything small but so many and usually it's three or four different plates then you have the main plates and if you're lucky by having some meat and fish and a lot of carbs and pasta and potatoes and it's non-stop and when you finally halfway thinking oh my gosh i'm never going to survive this meal then they bring what the cheese plate with the bread and then during after that it will be the green salad can be before i don't remember but the green salad very important french people usually have a green salad with vinegar on every meal even if you eat small personally i have a green salad with vinegar every evening to digest and etc and then when you finally done the dessert and during all this time during the four six hours when you already got the aperitif you have the alcohol so you got different alcohol you know usually the white for the fish the red for the meat and then at the end for the dessert when you have a dessert one which is very sweet and when you finally think your stomach is going to explode and then you have a digestive for digesting <laughs> in french we say digestive so they serve in a very short it looks like almost like a shot but it's beautiful glasses it's usually super sweet or super strong it's supposedly to burn your throat burn all your trash air and hopefully when you drink that you're like mm, to never drink in one shot because it's not the way you're drinking drinking by little sip and then you're hoping the alcohol is so strong it's gonna melt the food food in your stomach over cliche that you think about french people oh french people every time i said to someone well if i don't need to say because i say bonjour or i say hi i'm frederick say oh you're french so they will say here croissant or do you eat croissant and at the first time someone said that to me i'm like what is a croissant i'm like ah croissant yes I eat croissant like everybody. Do you think French people eat that every day? Absolutely not. We're not stupid. It's full of butter. It's delicious. So usually we have the croissant for the weekend. My favorite actually is not the croissant. It's the pain au chocolat. The chocolate croissant. I do not have that every weekend as well because obviously it doesn't do anything good to your body. It just tastes delicious. Do we eat one croissant for the breakfast? Maybe two. Do not eat for or 12. This is going to take you years to lose these kilos. How to lose weight? girls super hard but the french people do something because of the big meals and how we love the food we do intermittent fasting i've been doing that to, almost to a very young age because my mom's been doing that it's almost normal to jump a meal but the proper intermittent fasting if you're interesting i've done many videos about it i will link them below or here and the easy one is that you don't eat in the morning you wait minimum to midday one o'clock unless 
you're very hungry, it is not to starve yourself, it's just to give a bit of rest to your body, to your stomach, to digest what you ate the day before, to eliminate, and it's so good for your body. So many benefits, I'm not gonna go back to that, it will be linked below. And then from let's say maybe midday to 6 p.m., this is 6 p.m., midday, 6 p.m., you eat. Doesn't mean you eat, you binge eating on processed food and junk food, absolutely not. You eat normally, and usually after 6 p.m., you don't eat, and then you let your stomach and body resting until the day after. It does help to lose weight. So give a try, do a lot of research on the internet if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Never ever girls snack between meals. This is what it will ruin. If you really want to lose weight and if you're really disciplined and you're really serious about the type of food you're putting in your body, maybe you eat super healthy balanced food and between you just snack, oh I'm hungry, I need to eat and you eat all those junk food. This is bad. In a worst case scenario if it happens, to me I like a glass of water or some gum, it always works for me, but sometimes you can have a bit of a nuts or a bit of a fruit. Be careful, fruits are sugar, but I do believe a fruit is much safer than a pack of chips, obviously. Another way to lose weight, outside of eating balanced food, you know, I'm not talking about even having a diet here, because I want you to enjoy your food, but I want you to be smart with your food. So eat only when you're hungry. When you go to the kitchen, ask yourself, am I really hungry? Do my body, my metabolism needs food for energy or is maybe because I'm bored or I'm emotionally a little bit more vulnerable. Soon you ask those questions if you're not sure when I used to do that I had a piece of paper on one of my cupboard yes it's not sexy and said are you really hungry and have a glass of water wait 10 minutes and if you're really hungry then go for the healthy food not for the peanuts. Peanuts do not bring any benefits to your body. I'm going to talk about that more. Then when you eat do not eat in the front of a screen TV blah blah blah. Do not eat in two minutes because this is how more you chew your food more it will be digested faster more it will be processed by your body less you will accumulate the fat on your body and we really take the time we sit you have a proper table you talk to people you pose it's so important at the end don't forget we don't have the same metabolism we don't have the same age we don't have the same body shape we don't have the same bone density and structure we don't live in the same country the same food we don't have this different culture of food so what I'm saying adapt yourself to your country and what you eat next time you walk naked in your bedroom in a bathroom and you see yourself in a mirror and you say something like oh my gosh my stomach looks enormous girl you have to stop doing that first of all it's not true and if it's true then just take baby steps because you can do it you're not the only one having body issues so be disciplined and, and this is my quote okay <laughs> I don't think it's correct my body is a temple my mind is a fortress because most of the time staying slim staying active it's in your mind it's all about willpower energy and just take care of yourself because girl you have only one life you have only one body and you want to keep it as long as you want oh my gosh what a video subscribe let me know what you think in comment I don't think I need to ask you that because I know you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, mind blowing. Frederica don't agree, blah, 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 blah. On a serious note, I hope this video was very helpful. Do not forget to be kind in your comments. I hope you learned something in this video. You had a good laugh. I can't wait to read your kind comments. You take care of yourself. I see you to the next video. Ciao, ciao.